Hello everyone. I'd like to uh, apologize for the delay in this video series. In the last video I was uh, talking about, I was trying to solve uh, question number 2.5. This is from Analog CMOS VLSI by Professor Bezat Razavi. The book is really nice. Uh, it's like a primer to analog design. So I'd recommend everyone to read it at least once if you are uh, studying VLSI or if you want to pursue analog design in the future. Okay. So let me start part B of this question where we have an NMOS. One of the terminals is connected to a voltage source and the other is connected to a variable voltage source. Gate voltage is 1.9 volt. Okay. So this uh, problem is not as straightforward as it looks. Uh, I'll tell you why. First, let me consider some process parameters. I believe um, in the previous video, I did not consider W by L, but that's okay. Uh, you can just consider W by L to be 1. Um, in these type of questions, we are uh, more concerned about the trend rather than the absolute values. So these, the values that I've taken here, these will be okay for demonstration purposes. Threshold. And the supply voltage if required. So these are the values that we'll work with in all the further questions right if this is not clear enough one volt <clears throat> okay so from the look of it we'll first say that this is the source and this is the drain right uh, but this is uh, a bit more complicated than this when vx is zero when vx is zero this is no longer the source okay because source is something uh, to which the current goes from the drain when vx is zero the polarity is polarity of these two nodes these two nodes is such that the current will flow, flow from this node to this node. So in that case, this will not remain a source and this will not remain a drain. Basically, the roles of drain and source will change. In that case, VGS will be this voltage, which is 1.9 volts minus 0 volts. VDS will be this voltage is 1 volt okay once Vx crosses 1 volt then the polarity will shift again and in that case this will become a source and this will become the drain right so let us consider the case when Vx is between 1 and 0. So this is the voltage during which this node will be a drain and this node will be the source. And the current will flow from this node to this node. And Ix will be a negative term. Just because we have uh, considered the direction of Is, Ix to be this to be from right to left. Okay, so let us find out VGS. 
VGS should be 1.9 minus Vx. VDS is 1 minus Vx. Okay. From VGS, let us find out VGS minus VTH. This should be 1.9 minus Vx minus 0 0.7, which is 1.2 minus Vx. You can clearly see that VDS will always be less than VGS minus VTH. That means from 0 to 1, this uh, transistor will always be in triode region. Okay. Then what should be the current? Then Ix or rather minus Ix should be mu n c o x w by 2 l 2 times v g s minus v t h v d s minus v d s square okay it should be around 2 milli amperes per volt square here 2 times v g s minus v t h which is 1.2 minus v x times Vds which is 1 minus Vx minus 1 minus Vx whole square. So this is the um, trend of the drain current with respect to Vx. We can easily plot this in a graphing calculator. So this is how the graph looks. So this is just to put it into perspective as uh, the values were in micro and uh, it was too hard to look at. So for all uh, for all the other parts, I'll just uh, multiply 1000 to the values so that it's a little more presentable. Okay, let us look at what happens when the thresh when the uh, voltage Vx goes beyond 1 volts. So when Vx is greater than 1 volt, the drain and source again change. Right? Okay. So let me draw it again here. So now the current direction should be from right to left. In the earlier case, when Vx was less than 1, the current direction was from left to right. In this case, the VGS is 0 0.9 volts. And correspondingly, VGS minus VTH N should be 0 0.2 volts. Okay. So when VDS is less than 0 0.2 volts, The transistor is in triode. When VDS is greater than 0 0.2 volt, the transistor is in saturation. Okay. So let us consider the triode case. VDS is Vx minus 1 in this case. If it is less than 0 0.2 volt, here we are considering Vx is greater than 1 okay so this is a positive quantity so Vx less than 1.2 volts that means in absolute terms when Vx is between 1.2 and 1 volts this transistor is in triode region what is the uh, formula for current there it should be 2 milli because there's a half there in the formula 2 times VGS is 0 0.2 VDS is Vx minus 1 minus Vx minus 1 square okay so this is 2 milli 0.4 Vx minus 1 minus Vx minus 1 square. 
Okay. Let me just quickly simplify this. Minus 0.4, minus 1, minus 1.4. 0.4 Vx plus 2 plus 2.4 Vx 0.4 Vx uh, plus 2 okay minus Vx square minus Vx square this is how the current looks now only the last part remains which is what happens when Vx goes beyond 1.2 and there's a limit which is 1.5. So we know when Vx is between these two values, the transistor is in saturation and what is the value? What is the current formula in saturation? It is whole square, 0 0.08 milliamp. And let me put this on the graph. Okay, so this question is done. Next, we'll uh, try to solve the part C. It will be in the next video. So, thank you for watching, guys.